Okay, friends, so I'm at the visitor center. That's the highway we just came up on. And I'm going to get out now so we can go take a look at it. This is the first time I've ever been to it, too. So here's one of their cars. It says Hannibal, write your own story. Visit Hannibal.com. I have been to the Hannibal swimming pool. That's the Hannibal public swimming pool up there and it is really nice. I have been there. This down here is the visitor center and it's kind of new. I don't remember what year. Um, I'll have to go back and look but I think it's been within the last five years that they built this and it's designed to look like a steamboat. I don't know, I don't know how to capture that, but when we were coming in, you could see that the front had the steam pipes, like on a steamboat, and then back here is the wheel. All right, so the nice lady that works here just said that the best way to get the opening, the front shot, is to go down this little hill. So I'm going to do that, and we'll see if we can get a shot of the front. But I'm going to turn you off because, as you can see, this hill's a little bit steep. <laughs> as are most hills in Missouri. All right. Okay, friends, so here's a shot of the front. My only complaint, and maybe they will eventually fix this, is that they need steps that come down here to the front unless those are the steps over there and I just didn't see them we'll have to go look all right so here's the front although I did ask that nice lady if there was a way to get down here to the front and she told me to go down the hill so <laughs> I don't know if they have steps yet or not but as you can see it's supposed to look like a steamboat See if I can stand still long enough for you to see that. All right, let's go around and go on around the building. Okay, guys, <laughs> I was thinking that was awfully funny that they didn't have a better way to get down here. There are steps right here. And there's also wheelchair access. But you still only get back here to this patio. They need like a sidewalk that goes down to the fence because I was standing at the fence looking up. But maybe that's in the plans. All right. See, here's wheelchair access. Yeah. They even have parking down here. However, oh, I guess, okay. I'm going to go back over and get onto the steps. Okay, so no, there are not steps that go up to the main part. I guess they don't want people down here on this lower part. I guess the front view is only for the people on the highway and the people like me that will walk down the hill. Okay. To me, this visitor center could use a little bit of a design update. 
because what I thought were steps that went up to that front part are not. So you have to walk down the road and then even after you get down the road, the parking lot's up there. Alright, to me it's not the best thought out visitor center. The design is cute, the location is good, but they really need to make it more accessible to the front. All right, so now that I'm back at the top again, made a full circle down the hill, around the hill, and up the hill. Um, let's go in. Okay, so let me reiterate here really cute design love the design do not like the access to the front they need in fact there is no access to the front which is your best view the people from the highway have a really good view but if you come to the visitor center there's no way to see the front view without walking down the hill to the fence and then back up the hill but maybe they will eventually put something in the design of it to do that. All right, let's go take a look and see what they have inside. There, you saw, you saw the steam uh, pipes. Okay, so when we were down in the front, you saw the pipes that were supposed to look like the steam pipes on the front of a steamboat. Here is the wheel that's supposed to be at the back of the steamboat. And of course it says Hannibal Visitor Center. And then that over there is um, Mark Twain. A Mark Twain cutout. Here is one of the brochures. That's kind of cool. It's funny because um, I have lived in Hannibal, or well, I've lived in Monroe City, which is near Hannibal, for almost 40 years now. And I really don't tour it as much as I should. I have actually been on the riverboat, though. It's really cool. I have been through the cave in the winery. Okay, so maybe I've seen more than I thought I did. I have been to Rock Cliff Mansion. Here's some of their events that they have. I don't go to the events because, oh my goodness, it is so crowded downtown. I have been on the trolley though. One year we decided to try the trolley. I've been to the North American Trading Company. Airs Pottery. Love that place. Okay, so I've actually seen more of Hannibal than I gave myself credit for. Anyway, Hannibal is a really cool place to visit. So, let's go in and take a look. Alright, so here's the inside. I guess people would just come in here and ask all kinds of questions. Yeah, usually. <laughs> Got all kinds of brochures. I'm actually from Monroe City. Oh, you are? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I used to work at Eugene Field here in mm -hmm. Hannibal. Um, but this is the first time I've been in the visitor center. Oh. How old is it? Um, I think it's, I, it was built like 2019, so three years. Th I knew it. I had told my viewers that it had been within the last five years. Yeah. I couldn't remember exactly, but I knew it wasn't over five years old. Mm -hmm. So my only issue, <laughs> you might pass this along, is they really need like a sidewalk or something where people can see the front of this building uh -huh. without walking down a hill. Yeah. You know, or through a parking lot. Like I thought, well, maybe those are steps over there, but it's just, it leads to the parking lot. Yeah. So it'd be really neat if they could incorporate like a sidewalk in a pathway to get down to the front. Mm -hmm. So you can view it from the front too, yeah. as, as a 
person. Like in the cars is is a wonderful attraction. When you're driving down the highway from Illinois into Missouri or Missouri down towards the, the Mississippi Bridge, you can see it and it's just stunning, mm -hmm. you know. So when a visitor gets here, they might want to be like me and take yeah. a selfie with it without walking down a hill, yeah. you know. I'll have to pass that along. Yeah, pass that along. So. And one to our balcony is open. I'll have to unlock the door so you can get back in without being locked out. But okay, yeah, I, I would love to do that, yes. Okay. All right. And they have some pictures here. Can I ask I, what you're filming for? My YouTube channel. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Yes, I have a YouTube channel called Kim's Country Corner mm -hmm. where I show homesteading videos. Oh. But today with the rain and everything, yeah. and I had to make a trip to Hannibal to buy food because mm -hmm. we're out of people food. <laughs> and I thought, okay, well, what can I show my viewers in Hannibal besides Walmart? Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, I've never been to the visitor center. Let's yeah. take them to the visitor center. Well, so. you make downtown we have our steampunk festival right now which is kind of interesting okay and is it just right there on the main yeah, highway right on main, street. right on main street okay thanks mm -hmm. all right so we're gonna go out onto the balcony this nice lady will listen to my one complaint that's the only complaint I have is we need a stepway down to the front uh, but this is really cool they did an awesome job with the design all right, is it ready to open? Oh, uh, yeah. You okay. can go out there. All right. Oh, look, guys. There are those two large uh, steam stacks from the balcony. Yeah, when you're coming down the highway, either way coming down the highway from that direction or from that direction and you look over it's a stunning view it really is but like I showed you earlier there is no access see they need a sidewalk from right there down to that fence with like a patio sign or a patio with a sign that says selfie spot <laughs> you know they're coming up Places of attraction are coming up more and more with selfie spots where you stand and you have the best view. And that's what they need to do here. Because I walked down that hill right there. There's the public swimming pool and I walked down that hill and then I stood at the fence line and shot up. But other than that, it's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful place. All right. Well, I have a lot to do today, so we need to get going. All right. Oh, and they have a. Do you do you guys have things downstairs, or is that uh, a minute office, space office for, our directors, for so. the directors and stuff? So here's one of Mark Twain's quotes. It says, "Travel is fatal to prejudice, bigotry, and narrow-mindedness." Mark Twain. I like the way it's kind of in a circle. It has a really unique design. Yeah. I as, like it a lot. As far as the design goes, it is one of my favorite. Mm -hmm. And I've been to a lot of visitor centers. Yeah. So this is one of my favorites as, as far as the design goes. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they have little souvenirs up here that you can buy. I bet you guys really get busy in July. Yeah, July and <laughs> August are usually our really, really busy months. Yeah, because they have the um, big Mark Twain Festival over the weekend, the 4th of July weekend, yeah, right? Yeah, Tom Sawyer Days. Tom Sawyer Days, that's right. That's what it's called, Tom Sawyer Days. They have the fence painting. Yep. They have the Becky Thatcher and Mark Twain. No, Becky Thatcher and Tom Sawyer. Yeah. Becky Thatcher and Tom Sawyer are there in costume. They have to compete to get yeah, those roles, don't they, do. they? Have you ever competed? Yeah, I was one in 2019. Really? So you're one of the last ones. I mean, not the last ones, but you've been within the last three years. Yep. You ha so you, were, you actually got chosen or did you compete? I um, competed. I was chosen as one of the five couples. I wasn't the official. Okay. Yeah, because they, they have several. Five, they choose so. five. 
to do that, I'm sorry, I'm going to get you on, on no, here. It's okay. So to do that, because I used to teach at Eugene Field, so we had to do a little bit of studying for it because we were trying to encourage our fifth graders to go on, you know. You have to answer a lot of history questions. Yes. And a lot of literature questions mm -hmm. about Mark Twain yep. and know the books he wrote, what they're about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It takes a lot of studying. It's not like you yeah. just show up in costume. No, you can't. It's yeah. a lot of work. Yeah. They go through a lot of work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you uh, you have to answer a bunch of questions, and then you have to do an interview. Yep. Yeah. And the costume, and you have to do you make you have to make your own costume, don't you, or have um, someone make it for you? Yeah. Or? Usually, you will get a seamstress. Yeah. It will help you make the costume. Yeah, it's really a big thing. Yeah. So, and there's a lot that compete. Like, how many was in your competing? Um, I think that there was around 30 girls and around 30 boys, and then they had to decide to uh, narrow it down to five boys and girls who would be Tom's and Becky's for that Yeah, year. and then they had the official one. Mm -hmm. But if you make it into the five... Yeah. That I mean, it's that's pretty big deal. Pretty yeah. big deal. Mm -hmm. So, well, congratulations Thank on that. You. That's awesome. So, what better person to have in the visitor center <laughs> than someone that knows that much history about it and that much literature about Mark Twain? Mm -hmm. You know, because I mean, you had to know a lot about him, a yeah. lot of his biography. I don't know as much as I did when I was in seventh grade, but yeah, I know you had, a yeah, bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So. So if you were in seventh grade, mm -hmm. and that was into, so you're not even out of high school yet. Yeah, I'm a senior in high school this year. You're a senior in high school this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So well, yay for <laughs> you. So, but this is a school day. So do you get credit for doing this? Uh, no. I only work on the weekends, though. It's Sunday, so. I this is Sunday. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, viewers, I'm a day <laughs> off. I thought it was Monday. Yeah, but no, I don't get credit. I usually only work here on the weekends. Okay. Okay, well, thank you for setting me straight on my days. <laughs> you know, I, ever since I retired, it's like I don't keep track of days yeah. or time. I or, don't <laughs> but I really did think today was Monday. All right, anyway, I'll leave you alone now. Talk to you later. Yeah, you Bye. You too. <laughs> Okay, friends, <laughs> I am a day off. Oh my goodness. All right, let's head on down to the Mississippi River. Okay, friends, so um, yeah, there is a festival going on down here, which is gonna make parking impossible. I will see if I can get us to the river, but I'm not walking through that festival, so a lot of festivals going on. The river is right past that train. So what I might do is walk up on that bank and see if I can shoot it. All right, let's get parked. Okay. So I'm going to park here at the Mark Twain Dinette and then just walk over to the river. We've eaten here before. It's really a neat place to eat if you're ever in Hannibal definitely recommend this place they have homemade root beer that's why they have the great big root beer mug up there all right let's get parked and we'll go look at the river okay so that's the back of the mark twain boyhood home um, and museum where you can go in and look but we're not going to do that today however coming down here did give me an idea that maybe a future video could include a tour of downtown Hannibal. Let's see where the train's moving down there. We're going to walk down there and look at the river. I will show you that today. Maybe by the time we get down there, the train will be gone. So on the way down to the river, I was going to show you that these shrubs and the knock-knock roses are what I planted in the senior housing south garden so this is actually how big they will get and of course you can print them to the size you want but uh, they do get fairly big and they bloom all year long so all right so here's the sign for the historic district 
but there's a huge festival going on today because I thought it was Monday and it's not, it's Sunday. And I don't have time to do this today, but it did give me an idea that maybe I could bring you guys down sometime and we could do a tour of the historic district. I don't mind leaving John alone for a little bit of time um, to do this real quick walk down to the river and to pick up some groceries, but um, I don't want to leave him too long. I don't know if you guys can see the steamboat over there. See? It's parked here. Blanket flowers, guys. Aren't those pretty? They have a lot going on uh, during July and August, different festivals, and they're really, really cool. As you can see, they're also really, really crowded. All right. All I want to do is walk up that bank to show you guys the river. <laughs> okay, so that there is Main Street. Okay, we were up there where the root beer mug is at. Okay. And we walked down this hill, and this is Main Street. Where they have... They block off Main Street at both ends, and this is where they hold their festivals. And this is where all the historic buildings are at. So, and then across the road is the statue. Okay, and then right across the entrance from Main Street um, is called Cardiff Hill, and that's the statue of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. And up at the very top is a lighthouse, but you can't see it because of all the trees. But there are the steps that go up to it. See, it says Mark Twain Memorial Lighthouse are up those steps. Way up at the top at Cardiff Hill. And then, like I said, there is Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn, Huck Finn, which are famous in Mark Twain's stories. So Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn are famous in a couple of the Mark Twain stories. All right, and then from there, I'm just gonna walk down this road to look at the river, although they do have access points that you can actually use, but I'm not going to walk down to the access points. It's too busy. Okay, friends. <laughs> So I guess I won't be walking up that hill because it says, danger, no trespassing, subject to arrest. So let's find an access point. This is turning out to be a bigger walk than I had first planned. All right, so here are some steps. Let me look these steps. I mean, there's no sign that says I can't use them. And yeah, there's a sidewalk over there. So I'm just gonna walk on across here to the sidewalk. All right, I'm gonna go on over here. 
see where that red truck is at that's where I was at so I just had to walk, walk one block down to find an access okay Now this is the end, but it curves. Well, there we go, looky here. Yeah, this will be a good place to view because we'll get to see the steamboat. We were just at the visitor center. We were just at the visitor center, which is designed to be a steamboat. And now we will get to see an actual steamboat. There we go and show you the river at the same time. All right, so there is the steamboat on the Mississippi River, and that is what our visitor center is designed to represent, the Mississippi steamboat. And of course, that is the Mississippi River. And that is the bridge that brings you from Illinois over there into Missouri. All right, we need to get going. So some pretty flowers through here. Okay, and then looking, here's where we're at. We're looking up the hill. You can see the root beer mug. Again, that's where we're parked. There's the festival on Main Street. There's the boyhood home right there. All right, like I said, maybe one of these days we'll do an official tour. But right now, I've got things to do, so let's go. So as I was walking back to the car, I thought I'd show you that blue building over there. That's the old tourist center. And no one ever saw it. And it's on a very busy road here. No parking. <laughs> so no one ever used it. So I think they're gonna get much better use out of the other one. And plus with it being on the main highway, people see it. So anyway, we're parked right over here, guys. Once again, if you're ever in Hannibal, Missouri, check out the Mark Twain Dinette and be sure and have a mug of their root beer. They make it homemade. All right, we gotta get to Walmart. Okay, friends, so if you are ever in Hannibal, Missouri, be sure and check out the Mark Twain Dinette and have a mug of their homemade root beer. It is awesome, and it's a good place to eat. Um, they have made rights, which is like crumbly hamburger on a bun, and their made rights are really good. All right, we need to get on to Walmart, though. Love the sound of that train. Okay, we made it back. All right, we made it back. Let's head on over to Walmart, which won't be near as pretty or as interesting, but will be just as crowded, <laughs> especially on a Sunday. I thought it was Monday. That's why I brought you guys down here, because I thought it's Monday. Not very many people will be out on Monday. Have my days all mixed up. All right. Okay, so there's the new visitor center up there. I'm going super slow, guys, so don't worry. All right. We have a stop sign coming up. All right, I'm going to take you the back way to Walmart so that you can see uh, Hannibal LaGrange. So hang on and we'll see the university.
that's the bridge that's the road to the bridge and of course if I was going back home I would want to turn here but we're not going back home we're going to Walmart and you can only do 30 on this road so I'm gonna video just a little bit of this road so I can show you the university Hannibal LaGrange University that's what Hannibal's known for it's um it was a Baptist University I think it still is a Baptist University but um, I'm not 100% sure here is Riverview Park it is our famous park here in Hannibal and if I had time I would take you in there and show you because it has a really cool view of the Mississippi River but no time today like I said maybe one of these days on a weekday when there aren't any tourists we can go down and tour it ourselves all right golf course Fetty's Orchard going to be another long video. Alright, we're almost there. I don't want to turn you guys off because I don't want to miss the sign. There's the Hannibal Fire Department. see highway 61 up there in the distance that's the main other main highway 36 runs into 61 all right we're almost to the university it's over there on the right you can barely see the top of the buildings maybe I'll just go ahead and drive on in Hannibal LaGrange University. Let's just go ahead and drive in and make a circle. Might as well since we're here. Anybody out there considering going to Hannibal LaGrange University? Give you a look real quick. I've been to a lot of performances here at this um, Rollin Fine Arts Center. A lot of fine musical performances there. There's the library. I've taken some classes here myself. I went to Central Missouri State University, also known as um, the University of Central Missouri. They changed the name. There's uh, some buildings over there, and then here's the circle, the circle drive here. Here's the administration building. It is not a huge campus, but it is a pretty campus. All right, and there's more to it than what I just showed you. <laughs> this is just the circle. I'm not doing any more than just the circle today. I've already kind of gotten off track from what I was going to do anyway, but you know, things like this are fun. Little side trips like this fun. And then, I don't know if I can show you guys. See, Walmart is right over there on the hill. And that is where we're headed. That's 61 that those, road, those semis are on. Alright. 
down here. I'll give you guys another shot of the shopping district and then I'll turn you off. That over there is the Hannibal High School and Middle School. And part of that is the Hannibal LaGrange Sports Complex right there. So there's Hannibal High School, Hannibal Middle School, and then the Hannibal LaGrange Sporting Complex. All right. And then this over here is Highway 61. We eat at that country kitchen all the time. You can see the tractor supply. And we're going to hit that busy road so that we can go over to Walmart, which is up there on the hill. All right, so I'm turning you off because I don't want to tape when I'm on 61. So we're waiting for the stoplight. I thought I'd show you another one of my favorite places in Hannibal. <laughs> Their farm and home supply right there. Love that place. Okay, so as I was going to Walmart, I realized that there's really a good view of the university from across the Highway 61. So here's the sign that says Hannibal LaGrange. And then back there, you can see the pretty sign. Okay, and then as you go on down, you can see see it okay and then on down you can see that fine arts center from the highway too which is kind of the university's focal point so yeah there we go all right that's the intersection I was at with the um, farm and home over there and that's the road I'm going to be on to go to Walmart. <laughs> so that's, I just pulled off here just a little bit so I could show you um, the Hannibal LaGrange sign and then the complex from across the road. And then one of my favorite places to eat is Country Kitchen, which is right down there. Grank is like Burger King. And then our other favorite place is Pizza Hut. And then there's tractor supply and then up by the water tower is where the Walmart's at. So that's where we're headed. This is kind of what we call the back door to Walmart. <laughs> Walmart has two side doors, a back door, and a front entrance. So we call this the back door, even though it leads to the front. It's just not your normal front. Alright friends, we made it to Walmart. Yay.